What's up guys, Triple M here again with another quick video and today I want to go over my top 10 must have applications for your Fire Stick as well as your Android box. Now this video will be useful for anyone who just went out, purchased a device, now they want to know how to get it set up. These apps are the basic, these apps are easy to get and these apps will get you up and running in no time. Now this video will not be a full review of each app, instead I will be leaving a list of applications in the description as well as the comment section along with a link to where you can go ahead and watch that tutorial on how to install the app and how to use it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first of all, if you're not subscribed to the channel, smash the subscribe button in the top right. Also hit the notification bell. That way, when a new video or a new giveaway is released, you will be notified. Also, if you haven't checked me out on social media, I do have a very active Twitter page as well as a Facebook page. Go ahead and check those out. Like, subscribe, and shoot me an IM if you have any questions. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's start with number 10. So number 10 is a very popular application, guys. A lot of you guys already use it or a lot of you guys already know about it. ES File Explorer does have a lot of cool options built in so from es file explorer you can go to web pages you can transfer files you can run a cleaner you can play videos it does have a lot of cool features that you can go ahead and explore so just looking at some of the core utilities within uh, es file explorer you can see i have a logger i do have a cloud so if you click on that it gives you an option to either use your dropbox your OneDrive, or whatever storage solution you use you have the option to compress folders you have a cleaner click on apps now these are all the apps that I do have. From here, at a quick glance, I can take a look at my apps, uninstall what I need to. You do have a recycling bin and you do have players within ES File Explorer. So ES File Explorer is a very good application to have, guys. It does give you a lot of options. You can install APKs directly from it and it's a very useful app to have. So that was number 10, ES File Explorer. Number nine, Pluto TV. Pluto TV is completely free, easy to install from your Fire Stick. All you have to do is go to your app store, search for Pluto TV, and you're right in. Now Pluto does offer a lot of cool options, guys. Live videos does have video on demand and this is not going to be your newest content it's not going to compete with netflix or anything like that but it's a very cool app to have so from here i can go to free movies and this is my on demand section essentially and you can scroll through and just see what's on there and of course this is ad driven so you will see commercials every now and again but yet again it's completely free uh nice interface built in and i have used this on a regular basis so that was number nine pluto tv so number eight is going to be tubi tv now this one is another great free alternative uh, to netflix or amazon prime it does have a lot of content this is strictly video on demand so no live channels on this one but yet again i was very impressed with it overall so from here you can see you have future content if you scroll down recommended comedy and you just keep going it has a ton of content just scroll to the right and it will just keep loading and keep loading so another great app for your streaming content guys like i said completely free completely legal and it is available in your amazon store so number seven is cody and cody is probably the most popular um, apk that's out right now although it's going to a tough stretch right now cody uh, does have a lot of options including option to customize what content you view and play local files. And it's not always about streaming from your add-ons. However, this is where Cody is most powerful. You can add your add-ons, whether it's a live add-on or a video on demand type add-on where you can view your content. And it's just one of those apps that's not gonna go away. And uh, whenever an add-on go down, wherever a bill goes down, there's gonna be another one to replace it. So Cody's here, it's gonna stay here. And that's why it's in my top 10. So my number six is Send Anywhere. So I've done a full review on this. Send Anywhere is an awesome application, especially if you have multiple devices in your household. So what can you do with Send Anywhere? Basically allows you to uh, send application from device to device or files from device to device. And this comes in handy and I've used it multiple times. So case in point, if there's an app that's on your Nvidia Shield that you can't find in your Amazon App Store, you can go ahead and install Send Anywhere on your Nvidia Shield. If you go over to apps, you have all the apps there and all you have to do is just click on the app that you want to send hit send and then it will give you a code that you put into the receiving device and then you can download and install that application so very useful and i uh, have this on my pc i have this on my nvidia shield i do have it on my amazon fire stick and this is a must have in my opinion now i have done a full video on send anywhere so i'll go ahead and put a link in the description as well as the comment section 
So number five on this list is mouse toggle. Now mouse toggle has been around for a while, virtually on chain. And what it does, it gives you a virtual mouse on your screen. Now that way you can use your original Fire Stick remote to navigate web pages and APK. So pretty easy to use. All you have to do is tap the play button twice. You will see a virtual mouse. Then you can go ahead and move around. So mouse toggle been around for a while. It works unchanged so that's why it's my number five so number four on my list is set orientation and for anyone who installed apks and it's either pixelated or it's set the wrong way set orientation is your fix so basically it's really simple you launch the app click on the drop down and you do have a different option so for most cases all you need to do is set it to landscape and that should basically make whatever app you're trying to use just fit in the screen and have good resolution. So if you ever download or use an application that's either uh, pixelated or it's uh, set the wrong way or set in portrait mode, course set orientation is your fix. So number three on my list are two apps, uh, Speed Test as well as Analyti. Both do the same thing. Uh, they do it a little bit differently. So Analyti, as soon as you launch it, it starts automatically measure your speed. And to the right, it gives you a nice graphic of what kind of streams you should be able to stream at this speed great place to start if you guys are having network issues and speed test kind of does the same thing launch the application click on go and it will go ahead and start measuring your speed so uh, both are great apps in my opinion uh, speed test is uh, found is more accurate but analyti does give you extra features that i think is worth checking out number two on my list are two services two vpn services that i think is very important especially if you're overseas so so a lot of you guys leave comments saying hey i can't watch so and so and I'm here in the US like I'm watching it with no issues. That's because this service or particular service is not available in your region or country. So what a VPN will do is basically I uh, give you an IP address. You can pick what country you want that IP address to come from. You can go ahead and connect to that VPN server and it basically makes your device look like it's in that specific country so a lot of these apps like netflix pluto tv crackle imdb even tubi tv i believe you will need a vpn if you're out of the us so very important also if you guys are doing anything whether it's downloading uh, definitely worth using a vpn and like i said these are the two services that i use and i've had good experience with so before we jump into my number one honorable mention to filing so filing could have been my number one but i do feel like the app that i chose as number one does it a little bit better so filing for you guys that don't know is just basically an application that allows you to quickly install apps if that store provides so this is a look in my store and you can scroll down and see some of the apps that i have and once you download file link guys you put in the code to the store and then you can go ahead and quickly download and install these applications in my opinion file link is not going to be constant it's going to be based on uh, whatever that person set up uh, what apps they have in there how often they update and uh, with that said uh, honorable mention to it i do use it i do have a store here's my code if you guys want to check it out so it's one of those apps that the person that's managing the store has to stay up to date have to update their apps constantly and uh, sometimes it's going to be bound from store to store so what i'll do is i put this at my number one and a half spot and i put a link to this as well because i have done videos on filing and i do think that it is a good option for you guys to install your apps however my number one is app toy tv the reason i love this is basically like having a third party play store on your android device guys this is especially useful for your amazon fire stick and uh, nvidia shield or, or any other android that doesn't have a full google play store so from here guys you can see sme streaming ads from cody youtube you have netflix on here terrain tv mob Dro. these are probably some of the modded version you do have free flex hq and you throw down you do have iptv at plex you do have some games on here and you can sort different categories guys like i said this is a full play store it does have a search option and let's go ahead and check that out so for instance if i wanted to download speed test there it is right there you can also download chrome which is another great app for your device Here's the Chrome browser. So like I said, guys, this is my go-to. This is probably one of the first apps you want to install on your Fire Stick right after you install Downloader. So I did leave out a lot of your streaming apps, guys. I know you guys have wondered where's BTV, where's uh, HD Movies Premium, where's such and such. But those are apps you can quickly get on file link or you can get it on the App Toy TV app. So, so definitely want to hear your thoughts on my must-have applications. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you don't. If you don't like the video, thumbs down, but drop a comment let me know what you didn't like about this video that way i can take it into consideration when making new content so thank you guys for watching once again and i'll catch you on the next one